Hey, what's up, Zach here. And several months ago, a fellow shoe tuber of mine, Seth Fowler, asked if he could send a few pairs of his signature sock line apothecary over for me to just give him some notes, both as a foot doctor as well as just a reviewer of all things footwear. And after wearing them for a while, my opinion on them kind of changed throughout the months, and I kind of feel comfortable giving them a review now because I kind of know what they're all about. And I've come to genuinely like them when I'm reviewing sneakers, as you can probably see in a lot of thumbnails of these videos or just in some of the B-roll shots. And for for the four or five of you that don't know who Seth Fowler is that watch my videos, like I said, he is a shoe tuber with over 1 million subscribers and has a background in design. Now he is a big name in more of the collectible sneaker space. They're really hard to find sneakers buying and selling. And so you can kind of see that evolution from designing background, sneaker head, signature sock line. And so when I kind of got these in my hands, I kind of wanted to see what does somebody with a design background with a huge passion for sneakers do with a sock brand? So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Now the first thing I noticed about the Apothecary socks when he first sent them to me just kind of out of the box, and this was one of the first pair he sent, was that they are very thin in the footbed in certain areas. They do have padding in the toe box as well as in the heel, but then it does get pretty thin over certain areas, especially over the ankle of the sock, as well as kind of right in that metatarsal area. And on some socks, you can just see it from the picture, but some you gotta look at it up close. There are these triangles that are going in opposite directions over the metatarsal heads, as well as on the vamp or the ankle of the sock. And these allow the sock to kind of bend and twist a little easier, give them a little more breathability, but also keep the weave pretty tight and allows the sock to keep its elastic and keep its compression around your foot. And those triangles or what he calls ISO weave are really what kind of differentiate these from other socks. And in my opinion, when I first got them, it was both good and bad. Cause I really liked the way they felt when I first put them on, ton of breathability, but like I said, enough padding where I wanted them. My concern was over time, were those ISO weave patches gonna start to wear down? Were they going to start to fray? Or was that going to be where the socks started to fail with a lot of friction, especially if you're playing basketball, tennis, or pickleball in them? And now, honestly, nine months later, remember this video is not sponsored. He's not paying me to say any of this. I have no obligation to do a review on these. These are holding up just as well as any of my other super durability focused socks out there. And they still have the nice breathability to them. And the elastic is holding up just the same as it was when I first got them. And that was honestly a little bit of a surprise to me because the first time I washed these, I got an incredible amount of pilling in them, which means like the material just starts to kind of pill up on there. And that's kind of what I wrote to Seth. However, after that first wash and the pilling, it goes away after that, which I thought was really kind of interesting because usually that starts to happen down the road. Whereas on the apothecary socks, it seems like they started to pill up the first time I washed. And then after that, it completely stopped. And now they're some of my newest looking socks of the socks that I've had almost a year or over a year. So I think the biggest thing you gotta look out for when you first pick them up is that that first wash, don't expect that that's what they're gonna do all the time. It's almost breaking in the fibers of the sock. And then after that, it becomes a really nice looking sock and that pilling just goes away. Now the other nice thing I like about the apothecary socks is because I do test a lot of shoes out, sometimes Sometimes multiple shoes in a day, a lot of times I'm in really hot, humid areas, it is that the ISO weave on these and how breathable they are, especially on the bottom, really allows me to, to kind of not overheat a shoe, as well as when I'm trying to feel a shoe out on my feet, because remember when I'm reviewing these, I'm trying to kind of see what do they feel like on the balls of my foot? What does it feel like on the heel? Kind of how does my arch cradling the shoe? And when I'm playing in them, I'm also really trying to assess them making notes. And on a sock like this, where you actually do get a lot of contact on the bottom and the art is a little bit more low -pressure profile of the sock, I'm actually allowed to feel the shoe a little bit better. And that's why you see me wearing them in videos a lot more than some other socks. Whereas other socks, yes, super comfortable and I like wearing them. The apothecary socks stay comfortable and breathable, but I can also feel the shoes better and I can also give a better review. So if you're somebody that wants a lot of court feel from a sock, that also can translate to if you are looking for a sock to give you a little more tactile sensation on the court, whether it be basketball, tennis, pickleball, or even running. Now the one bad thing about Apothecary is if you do like a certain style of them, some of them are limited editions, so you do have to wait for the drops of them. I actually did get a variety pack sent here earlier, which kind of just different designs and styles here. So if you do want a specific style, just make sure you're there for the drop or just make sure it is installed. And the nice thing now is Apothecary is starting to go to some other blends of fibers. They are doing merino wool now, in addition to their standard cotton, polyester, and spandex blends. And if you do want to pick a pair of these up, I will leave a link in the description below. Like I said, this is not affiliate code. I'm making no money off of this. I just thought that these really were a super well-engineered type product, especially from a perspective of a foot doctor. So I did want to make sure this got out there and just so you kind of knew kind of why I was wearing these socks all the time and kind of my thoughts on them. If you were looking to pick up a pair, if you were on the fence about buying 
buying a smaller companies type brand versus some of the bigger brands. And if you wanna see some of my other favorite socks and just kind of ways that socks can improve your game, make sure you click into this playlist up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam and triangles. I'll see you in the next one.